John 14, 6. And Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God's word is the what tells us what God is. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. God made us for his pleasure, not for my pleasure. Hi, I'm Bob Roberts. Thank you so much for your interest in the Kids for Truth program and curriculum. Kids for Truth has been a dream of mine for several years because I believe we need to instill doctrinal truth into the hearts and minds of boys and girls. The Kids for Truth program and curriculum is designed to teach kids the most important truths about God. The curriculum covers 12 of the most important themes of all of Scripture. The Bible, the greatness of God, the goodness of God, creation, the trinity, a view of you, which is a study of man and sin, the law, and then Jesus Christ, and forgiveness, which is a study on salvation. Then we move to God's purpose for his children, God's plans past and present, and then finally we end with number 12, God's plan for the future. These are the most important truths of historic Christian faith, and we believe boys and girls need to know these truths. What is forgiveness? Like when someone um, did something wrong to you or did something to you, you just um, say it's okay and put it behind you. What does God think about me? Well, if you're not safe, you look like a filthy rag. And if you are safe, then you look like a clean rag. How can I go to heaven? We sin so much that we don't even deserve to go to heaven, but when God sent his son, we, he, it, he gave it as a gift so that if we accept it, we can go to heaven because he took away our sins. So if we ask God, God to come into our hearts, he'll, he'll take away our sins and he'll cleanse us. Kids for Truth is designed to ground boys and girls in the doctrines of the historic Christian faith. It's different than anything else that is currently out there because we have a very defined scope and sequence and a standardized measurement of knowledge that we want boys and girls to know at the end of each one of their Kids for Truth session years. What I enjoy a lot about the program is the amount of in the curriculum, especially the amount of doctrine that's in the curriculum for the young people. Um, it's not just scripture, but it also deals with very important, uh, how should I say it, ultimate questions that the young people have to face and have to deal with. I think what I see the main focus of the curriculum is, is Jesus Christ centering um, our lives around Jesus Christ and they're memor memorizing so much about Him and what it means um, to be a Christian and um, how we can, can even a give an answer to those uh, people around us that may ask us about our faith and how the kids can, can respond that way. But there's just a big focus on Jesus Christ and learning who He is and what He's done for us. The reason Kids for Truth has such a clearly defined scope and sequence and limits the curriculum to 12 main doctrinal themes is because we're all about qualitative learning versus quantitative learning. I'd rather have a boy or a girl learn one verse very well and be able to quote it 10 years from now than have them learn 10 verses and lose that information within a month. I think the workers would rather have me memorize a few verses and really remember them than to learn a bunch and forget most of it. If we don't know the stuff, then, then later on when the Lord meets us, we wouldn't know what He wants us to do. And if we are studying this stuff and know this stuff, then we won't have to worry about it. When a boy or girl comes to the Kids for Truth program in a local church setting, there's three main things they can expect to find. Number one, the faithful teaching and preaching of God's Word. Number two, a song time. That lasts about 15 or 20 minutes where boys and girls will learn brand new songs that are scripture soaked and doctrinally solid. 
And then third, there's the small group breakout times where boys and girls go with one of their Kids for Truth leaders, and that's the time where they can earn awards by reciting the questions and answers that they've learned during the week. The um, program's been real good for them. At home, I noticed that um, if we're sitting at the table and we're discussing some subject, and I might say to them, there's no Bible verse that uh, talks about something it is, say, whatever it is, you know, cheating or salvation, truth, whatever it might be. Why I find that very often they can rattle off a verse and a reference. That surprises me. I, I'm not able to do that most of the time. But they are able to just from the teachings that they've learned in the Kids for Truth program. The writing team of Kids for Truth has spent hours and hours taking the most important truths about God, man, and eternity and striving to make them understandable for boys and girls. These are the essentials of our faith. Without these truths, people cannot be saved. And so we feel like boys and girls need to understand what these truths mean. And we want them to remember these truths several years down the road. Kids for Truth is all about quality. How can the Kids for Truth program help me? First of all, you've got part of the Bible in your head. And if people ask you questions, and you don't have your Bible right there to flip through and find the verse, then you can go ahead and tell them, well, this is what the Bible says. I've memorized this. Whenever we grow up, we may be in a situation where we meet somebody and they don't know anything about God or they don't know anything about the Bible, and we'll be able to give them answers of questions that we have already learned as children. Uh, before I was in Kids for Truth, where I used to live, I wasn't growing as much spiritually, and I needed more guidance, uh, so to say, and I have that now here, and so that's been helping me with memorizing verses and questions and stuff like that to keep me, keep me on track. The Kids for Truth program is simply high-tech learning. We know that not all boys and girls learn in the same fashion. There's some that learn in a very linear fashion, and there's some that learn in a very abstract fashion. That's why we're going to be taking the printed curriculum and marrying that to our website. Now, if you've ever seen the Kids for Truth website, you know that we care about quality and excellence. And the boys and girls that go to our website come away knowing about God more than when they first came. The Bible says in John 4, 24, that they that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And that's why we've chosen the name Kids for Truth, because we want kids to worship their God. We want this to be God-centered, and we want them to rightly relate to God and know the biblical definition of who their God is. Boys and girls need to have foundational doctrinal truth laid when they are very young because the younger we build that foundation, the more level the ground and the deeper we'll be able to pour that foundation. These are the most important truths that we can be teaching. And so we want to give them the essentials of authentic Christian doctrine with an unshakable faith of who their God is.